are too early for me to be sounding this enthusiastic. Oh my God. Hey besties, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my realistic five to nine before my nine to five. I decided it was kind of time for an updated morning routine since the last one I think I filmed was literally back in like September. And I know for sure that I didn't have my full-time job at the time that I made that last one. So I figured better now than never, let's do an updated morning routine because my mornings look a lot different than they did about like six or seven months ago. And don't get me wrong besties, I love these like aesthetic work from home YouTuber morning routines that a lot of content creators I follow put out, but they just don't feel realistic to me. Because bestie, how am I supposed to cram a workout, skincare, healthy breakfast, journaling, meditating, cleaning, planning, all in like the four hours I have in the morning before I have to be at work. While I don't think it's bad to embrace a productive mindset, especially in the morning to help you get your day started, sometimes I think we forget that we don't have the same 24 hours in a day as the next person or even say that work from home creator that we follow. Because let's be real, if you get to stay home and work from home as a content creator, if you get to make your own schedule and your own work hours up, obviously you have a lot more free time to be flexible with than than somebody who has to go and work full-time at a corporation or a retail store for 40 hours a week. All that being said, I don't think it's impossible regardless of your work schedule to create a morning routine that works for you. So without further ado, here's my five to nine before my nine to five. If you've been following me for any period of time, you probably already know the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is make my bed. I have been making my bed every morning when I got up since I was a kid. But honestly, when I was a kid and I was listening to the radio with my mom in the car, I heard a talk show host talk about how if you don't make your bed and you leave all the sheets and blankets rumpled up all day, that leaves more room for bugs to crawl in your bed and hide. And I don't even know if that's true, but it traumatized me as a child so much, the thought of bugs being in my bed, that I have literally not gone a day without making my bed. It is literally always the first thing I do when I get up. So congrats, if you needed some motivation to make your bed this morning, there you go. The next part of my morning routine that I always do as soon as I wake up and I've made my bed is moving my body. You guys already saw this coming if you have been following me for a while because you already know when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is go to the gym. Even if I wake up in the morning super tired, I found that I'm just someone who will naturally have a lot more energy in the morning once I've fully woken up. So for me personally, it's just beneficial to get my workout done first thing in the morning when I wake up when my energy is at its peak. And I know I'm not the first person to tell you this. I know they say all the time that moving your body first thing in the morning is really healthy for you and good for you. And Bestie, guess what? It is true. Because Bestie, once my workout is done for the day, you better believe I am trotting out of that gym like a damn Budweiser Clydesdale, baby. I feel so energized. I feel so awake. I've already gotten my workout and daily movement done for the day and I won't have to worry about it later at 5 p.m. when I'm getting home from work and I'm tired and cranky and I just want to put something comfy on and watch YouTube videos. So if you find it hard to wake up in the morning and you're not already trying to get some form of movement in when you first wake up, please give it a try and see if it works for you. And you don't even have to be like me and go and do a heavy strength training session in the gym. It can be something as simple as just a hot girl walk on the treadmill. If you just want to stretch, if you'd rather do like yoga, do whatever fits you and your goals. I just strength train in the morning because I want to build muscle and get stronger. But with that being said, it is literally 5.30 on the dot and I would like to be out of the house and on the way to the gym already. I'm going to go and pop my pre-workout and get my ass to the gym. I literally just started talking and I wasn't even recording, so that's great. <laughs> Anyways, we are back from the gym and I feel really awake, really energized, and ready for the rest of my day. And now it is time for my breakfast, AKA my protein smoothie. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know this has basically become a staple of my morning routine since I started strength training because it's a protein smoothie. You need protein to grow your muscles, besties. It also just really works for me personally because I'm not someone who likes to have a hearty filling breakfast. Like this quite literally does it all for me and it keeps me full and satisfied until lunchtime. Because I'm one of those people that if I eat too many solid foods in the morning, it will weigh me down and it will make me feel bloated and full and tired. And then I basically just destroyed the purpose of my morning routine, which is to make me feel awake and ready for the day because now I just want to go back to bed. For me, a protein smoothie is just what works best. And instead of getting one of those pre-made box carton ones from the store, I just make it at home. I use about 115 grams of blueberries, a serving of Greek yogurt, a serving of natural peanut butter, not that GIF shit with all the added sugar. 
natural peanut butter. The oil sitting on top, yes, I know it looks disgusting, but I promise you, once you try it and you develop a taste for it, you will not go back because now when I eat Jif peanut butter, I wanna throw up. <laughs> Last but not least, I add a scoop of my Vega Sport chocolate protein powder. I like this one specifically because it has BCAs, tart cherry, and probiotics to help my muscles recover and grow after a weight session in the gym. Altogether, this smoothie alone has about 50 grams of protein, which is a lot in the morning, and that sets me up for a really good day, given that my current protein goal for the day is about 140 grams. This is almost half of that in a smoothie. I feel like if you're someone who finds it really hard to make a morning routine because maybe you feel like you need to cram all these different tips and tricks from different influencers into your morning, but maybe you're not someone who has all that time in the morning and it overwhelms you really easily, take my advice and just pick one thing. One thing that is important to you that you know if you did this every single morning, it would make you feel good and it would set you up for success for the rest of your day. And do that one thing every morning. Slowly but surely, you will build your morning routine around it. So for example, me, my one non-negotiable is the gym. My strength training journey has been very important to me and I wanted to prioritize being able to work out first thing in the morning and getting that done so that I knew I was putting my energy towards that instead of, you know, coming home and feeling tired and not wanting to work out, I'd rather do it first thing in the morning. So me wanting to make sure I had time in the morning to go to the gym led to me getting up earlier, which led to me finding a filling, nutritious, protein-enriched breakfast that I had to have afterwards, which leads to me feeling nourished and full and ready for the rest of the day. It really just takes one thing, guys. I really don't think you need like four or five non-negotiables or whatever they're saying these days. I really think you just need one and your entire routine will just fall in place around it. It is now 7.52. I have to leave for work in like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna hop in the shower and do my skincare routine because that is the next step in my morning routine. My skincare routine is another part of my day and night routine that I always make sure to do. Even when I'm drunk as a skunk coming home from the bar at like three in the morning, I always do my skincare routine. It's almost like my superpower because even when I am like blackout drunk, the need to make sure that my face is properly cleansed and moisturized before bed is so much stronger than the need to just fall into bed. But when you think about it, your skin is literally the largest organ on your body. So why wouldn't you want to take good care of it? That has always been the driving factor behind having a good skincare routine. And it could also just be because I was very heavily in the beauty community side of YouTube when I first started. I've just always been exposed to skincare and known about the benefits of taking care of your skin. So it's really just never been that difficult for me to take care of to begin with. That being said, I don't think anyone's skincare routine needs to be 10 steps long with all these luxurious products. If you're overwhelmed with creating a solid skincare routine for yourself, I think your best place to start is simply a good cleanser, a toner or essence, a serum or treatment if you have something like acne or redness or any other kind of skin issue you're trying to address, and a moisturizer. I just don't think you should get too overwhelmed by your skincare routine because you're quite literally just taking care of your skin and it doesn't need to be as complicated as all of these websites and influencers and beauty gurus say that it needs to be. Like you don't need 11 steps. If I'm being quite honest, this four step skincare routine is what I have been following for most of the last year or so and it has helped me maintain the health of my skin just fine. The only thing I really deal with every now and then is just the hormonal acne that I get on my chin around that time of the month. The next thing I'm going to do is actually something that's a 2024 goal of mine, and that is to use my planner and actually fill it out. Every morning before I go to work, I try to make a habit of sitting down and writing down any to-dos I need to accomplish today, as well as mark out anything I've already taken care of, like working out and filming this video. You guys already know that part of my planning goal for 2024 was to actually start bullet journaling again instead of using a traditional store-bought planner, just because I like how flexible and customizable bullet journaling is. And in my opinion, it keeps me more immersed in the planning process because of how involved I have to be in drawing all my spreads out and writing everything down like to the T. It keeps me very involved in the planning process and actively thinking about what I need to be doing on a specific day and how much time that I have for myself, what things I need to be focused on in a particular month. It's just a system that I've found works better for me when I can actually stick to it. By opening my planner in the morning before my day gets started, it lets me see how much free time I have after work and what tasks for the day I can prioritize once I get home, like my laundry, for example, that still needs to be done. I'm also going through my habit trackers and marking the habits I've already done today. But if I'm being quite honest, I'm not the best best at keeping up with these trackers, but I'm hoping to get better as time goes on and I continue to spend time in my planner every morning. 
So there you have it. That is it. That is my five to nine before my nine to five morning routine. It's very simple, yes, and it is quite literally only four or five steps, but it's honestly perfectly tailored to my life and what I feel like I need to do in the morning to wake up and be motivated and ready to take on the rest of my day. Obviously, as life changes, so do your routines. So while it's my perfect morning routine now, it may not be in a year or so, who knows? <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you are someone who has been struggling to create a morning routine for yourself because you've just been overwhelmed by all of the different routines that are scattered throughout the internet, I hope this video helps you in those first steps to building a routine of your own because you don't need that long aesthetic morning routine to become a productive person. Obviously, I'm not knocking any of those aesthetic morning routines and the creators that do them. In fact, they are very fun to watch and they did inspire me to have a morning routine in the first place. And I still dream of the day that I can wake up and have a long luxurious morning routine like that because I'm a work from home creator and I don't have to go to a nine to five job every day. But the morning routine I have now is just what works best for the phase of life that I am currently in. And I think that that's something that we all need to keep in mind when we create our routines that we really just have to work with what we've got sometimes. It doesn't mean we can't be striving for something better, but we have to understand that getting to that dream life and that dream morning routine is gonna take a little time, especially if your daily life and current schedule doesn't accommodate for it. It doesn't mean you can't try to get there one day, but you don't have to just overwhelm yourself every day trying to maintain a routine that just doesn't work for you right now. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and make sure you go to my channel and check out some of my other content I just love vlogging my silly little life for you guys. Like we're in our own little corner of the internet over here, but we would always love to have new members. So please subscribe if you enjoyed and don't forget to comment down below. I love getting comments on my videos and talking to you guys in the comments. And I'm going to brag right now. I get some of the nicest comments on my videos. Like every time I get a comment from one of you guys talking about how I've like inspired you to try something or do something, or my videos just like make you feel better because you like listening to me talk literally like makes my day. So please leave a comment down below because I love reading all of your comments and thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next video.